opinions stated by various contributors to 92 Kells, its website and its radio programs are not to be considered as endorsed by A Better Broadcasting Media and A Better Entertainment LLC. Visitors are urged to use their own discernment to draw their own conclusions. We emphasize yes, the sir. importance of keeping... Back in the It's Sunday night. So you know what that means. We here again. Welcome to the Garage Apartment. Sports and entertainment. With your favorite partners, favorite partners. I am the funky militant Dar Jones. And as always, we got the tribe in here. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, yeah in this week. I see. <laughs> Tell them who you are. Be back, back better than ever. And you can't expect the yeah, yeah, man. When you expect the yeah, yeah, that's when it don't come. You gotta be organic. Some people come to come to expect it, and they, you know, that's I they. I understand. I try to. If it don't come out, I can't force it. This is true. We also got. My boy Mom Mizzle up in here, what to do? He playing, he wearing multiple hats today. He's cameraman slash mic engineer slash door operator slash uh 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 I understand he was producer last night. Uh hey, <laughs> market, marketing extraordinaire, a little bit of all of that. Hey, we hey we trying to make it, man. We trying to make this happen. It's about to be a bigger thing. It's gonna be a movement for real. Yes, indeed. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our new website, thegarageapt.com. New, new blog was just put up. Brand new, bro. I'm talking about fresh off the package. Still smell fresher than a Ziploc. Man. It's covering our coverage of rugby. Giving you a little history. The black, Mil- the black Michael Wilbon living up to his name. He gave you some history on rugby. Uh, you all will be hearing some more things from us and our new relationship with our professional rugby team, the Houston Saber Cats. Yeah, friends, friends of the friends show. Of the show. Absolutely. So, also, we probably won't do it this week, but we now have phones. So, starting next week, we're going to go ahead and make it next week, man. Y'all be sure to hit us up. Let us know what you want to talk about. Give us some feedback, reactions, love, hate. We welcome it all. We don't run. It's the garage apartment. That's what we do. Questions, comments, we're here for you. Let's go. We like the interaction. Absolutely. So, fellas, how was your week? Uh, It was short, thank God. Well, I'm glad to hear yours was. Mine was uh, <laughs> just as long, but it was good. Glad to be out. Glad to have a good uh, Easter day with the family and everything. So I'm glad to be here with the people. Absolutely. How was yours, sir? My week was extremely short and 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 prevalent, and uh, it was a difficult week professionally. However, as usual, I always get the woosah here with the family. There you go. This on the garage apartment. Beautiful, ain't it? Absolutely, absolutely. So, we got some, We got the, the playoffs are heating up. NBA playoffs are heating up. Man. We've already had a team advance to the second round. Boston swept the Indiana Pacers. Valiant effort without your big guy, though, or your, I guess, your lead guy, Oladipo. Absolutely. They, they had Valiant a very, very impressive season, considering that they lost their star man, and, and he is a big, he's big, cold. big, big contributor on their team. So Offense and defense. That was definitely a, 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 a void that was difficult to fill. But however, they were able to win 48 games and, 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 Play very competitively with Boston. They gave away two games. Gave away. And shout out to Miles Turner, Houston's on. Maybe Texas is on. I was like, he's from. T- I don't even know if he's from, from. He went Texas. to Texas. Went to I don't Texas. know if he's yeah. from Texas. UT's on. Let's put it like that. <laughs> Had a, uh, got his poster in this year on Gordon Haywood. Not if sure if everybody saw that. Yes, indeed. Came in a loss, but that was a that was one of the, yeah, that was the better nice dunk ones that, yeah, that I have actually yeah, seen in a while. A- that's a nice Gordon Haywood was all there for it. Took it, it all of the... not really trying to leave. Hey. 
And you know what's even crazy? His hair did not move one <laughs> bit. Boy, boy, they, they got that Jimmy Johnson. You know what I'm saying? Boy, I don't know what kind of product they put in their hair, but it got to be something special. They won't make a hair move when hey, you in movement. You put, you put that karate chop in his neck. It goes too, against man. the fortunes of nature. It's just they going up and, and the hair doesn't move. Yes, I don't understand it. So, what else? Uh, the Clippers, I'm sorry, the Warriors have okay. taken a 3 1 lead. Yeah, they pulled it off. 33 from Durant, 32 from Clay Thompson. They had to hold on, though. Clay Thompson was. It's getting interesting. 27 in the first half. Yeah, Clay Thompson is. He, he is something. That's the X factor right there. Right? Absolutely. Because, you know, he, he can go cold for three games and then he can give you 90 in one game. Right. Or he can put off, up 27 off. in the first half. I'm a straight jumper. He won't do anything but shoot. He don't, even, he don't even dribble. He won't do anything but shoot. Just catch and shoot. It's ridiculous. And hit you for like 30 in one quarter. Oh, right man. He is so frustrating. But the man had five the next half. Huh? And they only won by. Eight points, so oh, the they Clippers. needed more scoring. Hey, the Clippers and he are could balling. Not give them. I mean, they any had, other points. Clippers got got long people that are defensive. They won't let you get the shot. Off. Clippers are balling. Were they not playing man. in the first half? He put up twenty seven in the first half and five in the second half. I don't like that. I mean, Curry. That Curry, makes what you Curry extremely do? Extremely hot. That makes you kind of random to me. What Curry do? No, no. Curry had a horrible game. Curry, Curry was had James a worse Harden game last than night. James Harden, and that's hard to have. Especially last night. That was yes, James Harden had one of the so now, all-time worst games. I'm last glad night. you brought that up, and now and, and I'm and I'm fussing at both of them because just so y'all let y'all know, I'm not discriminating. I'm not biased by any means. James Harden and Seth Curry. Now, to be fair, well, no. It's going to look like I'm still leaning towards because Steph Curry. Because you clearly are. I'm not, man. You're about to make an excuse for this man. But I'm not. I'm, I just said that. So I don't even mean to say to be fair. However, I did notice you in be, the game today. You be caping for these dudes. No, huh? I don't. I'm not even a Warriors fan. Like I can't that, stand the Warriors. That, and that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem right there. I'm not even a Warriors fan. I but cannot you stand the Warriors. It. At least I'd be like, okay, I got a cape a little bit. I don't, first off, I don't even know what cape means. What does that mean? You put on a cape like Superman and oh, go to bat for these dudes. Don't save them. Stop em. it. They don't want to be saved. <laughs> I ain't don't gotta save, save them. Em. They the back to back world champions. Right, they the won three out of the last four years. But However, the how there we go. And however, you are though, excuses. Me so now, as a Houstonian, considering dot, that dot, 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 the two. Well, that's not the past two. Two out of the last three MVPs had horrible nights. Uh, Curry today and Harden last night. One thing they definitely had in common where they had a poor shooting night but continued to shoot. What's your other option, Three bro? pointers, getting buckets. Now, what I do Get like that buckets. James Harden did, and I, I, I mean, I, I, I was like, yes, all right, dude getting it. Even though he did not score a field goal until late into the he fourth quarter. The whole team. That was late he late did it before that dunk. He did still have 12 points already. All off of free throws. <laughs> yes, sir. Field goals. <laughs> Which means he was attacking the basket. And that I applaud because he at least made some adjustments. However, he was still 0 for 9 behind the three-point line before he finally started attacking the basket. And Man, Seth Curry, now he was attacking the basket. And uh, many and many of his shots were contested. Three for fourteen from the field, one of nine from the three point line. He shot nine of his fourteen field goal attempts were from behind the three point line. Now, don't attacking get me wrong. The basket. Shooters shoot. Shooters shoot. That's what they're supposed to do, and that's the only way you're gonna get into rhythm is if you continue to shoot. But at what point do you make the adjustment, man? Would you like for me to answer that question? Please do, sir. Never. You play the game that you have, okay? If you shoot better than any other person has ever shot in the league, in Steph Curry's uh, case, you keep shooting that Mickey Ficky, <laughs> and you keep shooting it until you can't shoot it no more. That's what you do, and then you chalk this up as a bad night. But you still won by dang near 10 points. I know, right? And so, because, I mean, Harden, you're right. Same case. You're right. Keep shooting. 
Because he eventually he he started he finished oh and oh, well he didn't finish he he started he the game oh and fifteen he closed the game he, he went three game. for six he went for threes for six and he put the game he away absolutely game, which is all you need to do not all you need to do but if you shoot that poorly and you can do that we'll take it and, and he still finished game. he still finished with twenty two points uh, the man is a point machine <laughs> don't get it twisted he's gonna win the MVP for a reason you know yes we're mean? talking about. Yes, we're talking about James Harden. Yeah, man. And, hey. Ladari was caping. I'm not caping. No, I heard him caping. Okay, now I have a lot to say because I was listening on our way in. All right? That's live right there, though. I I, I was definitely listening on our way in. Number one, when – okay, first off, I'm appalled that you never heard the phrase caping. (laughs) (laughs) I don't even know what that means. Number two, when we said caping, you went to – Project Pat don't save her. <laughs> when it should have been E40, Captain Saber Ho. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, now, since secondly, you... that game last night, man. Okay. So, of course, everybody who follows our Instagram. Oh, God, he's about to kill himself. Maybe you've Sorry, seen God. us. Hey, he's about to kill maybe himself. Maybe you should ask one of us to do that. And <laughs> <laughs> boy, Miles Mizzle has got. He, his arms are too oh, short God. to box with God, and he is up here trying to put something yeah. away. Yeah, we want to continue broadcasting. <laughs> but look here. Um, now, I actually uh, remember years ago, everybody got on Charles Barkley about when he was hating on analytics and all that good stuff. Yes. yes. Now, James Harden's numbers last night, that just completely blew analytics out the water for me. Because there's no way in the world that a team where the superstar did what he did last night. And still win the game. And still win the, a playoff game at that on the, on road, the road in Utah. Absolutely. But that's a lot to be said but about the not. Rockets' defense. No, there's a lot to be said about James Harden, too. Because I'm going to tell you this. Now, I was talking to my son, and he's five. He don't really get it. But <laughs> <laughs> what I was telling him, though, if you saw that post-game interview, right? Where uh, whoever was interviewing James Harden, the lady was like, "Yeah, you were old for 15. He was like, "What? I was? I was. <laughs> really? <laughs> he sure did say that. That's confidence, man. Confidence, bro. Don't have no idea. Like <laughs> what I do. He had bro. no idea he was sucking that bad. <laughs> he just knew he was doing his thing. You're right. He was just out there shooting. And like you said, he might have been over 15, but he knew, man. I had 12 points. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, it was it was really like a lot of people are hating today, and even people were hating. A lot of these uh, Facebook, a lot of these fair weather Warriors fans that we was talking about earlier, um, you know, because you, you were acting like a Warriors fan. I'm really. not a Warriors fan. Anyway, Donovan Mitchell put up 34. Yeah. Yes, he had a hell of a game. That That's what I'm saying. Hey, like he you had said, a hell of a game. the Rockets were not the Rockets were not supposed to win that game. Nothing last about night. last night made sense. Nothing. The the Utah and the '86 Astros uniforms didn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I hated that. I don't get it either. What is that about? What, what is, is that? What do those even mean? What do those uniforms mean? I'm like, are those desert colors? What are they doing? I have no then, idea. Then they're sitting there with all the red on. When James Harden well, shooting free throws, and I'm like, he just he feels at home. Yeah, he looks like he's at. Home. <laughs> he ain't mad. He feels like he's at home. He got on red. Put oh, on blue. Oh my goodness! What are you doing? You're Utah. <laughs> Why you got an eighty six on blue? They ain't supposed to have on blue. They supposed to have on purple. Yeah, but purple. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I'm a little colorblind, folks. But nothing about that game made sense um, to me. But it, it, it's, I mean, like, I'm, I know we're not supposed to be homers here, but it's really gotten me feeling real, okay, I, wanna, I don't want to say good, but you got to like the Rockets' chances if you can Absolutely. squeak out a win like Absolutely. that. Absolutely, you got to like their chances. They however, had no business winning that game. However, Utah is not, Utah is not that uh, a juggernaut called the Golden State Warriors. Simply because Utah has Donovan Mitchell and who? But Utah was like top five in defense. This is true. And Utah so gives the Rockets fits. Gives us fits. In the we, regular we season. Didn't have to blow them out like That's because usually they usually get Houston in a back-to-back, though. They usually do. Rarely do they get them on all things being even. I mean, I, ideally, though, everybody knew we would win this, uh, the Houston Rockets would win this <laughs> series. We just right. need to sweep 
is so that we can get as much rest for Chris Paul, who had a pretty good game. He he he. he, he seven for fifteen, eighteen points. Played the entire it, fourth quarter with five fouls, which he needed to, which he doesn't always do. Only four assists. I like him to swing the rock a little more, but it's all right because the boys ain't hitting jumpers, and you can't get a dime. So we just need to get this break. Take oh, a excuse rest, me, I did that all over the mic. Be <laughs> ready. They said, "What's the cost?" Next cough series button? is gonna be the NBA Finals. Hey, Maude, wait a minute. Say what? No Say that again. Game. Say that part one more time. Next season will be the NBA uh, Finals. Next season will I be mean, the NBA Next there? series I'll will be, be the like, NBA what? Turkey leg hut thing. Yeah, turkey leg hut. Next what? series will be the NBA Finals. Okay. Whoever right. wins between the Rockets and the Golden State Warriors will win the championship. Will be NBA champions? I I, I, I don't see how Barring that would injury. Oh, okay, hold on one second. I, I, if you heard the mic, Gamal asked me why I didn't bring barbecue. Because I smell like barbecue. <laughs> And that's the same reason why I texted y'all. We should have done a best of show because when I left, the damn food wasn't ready. (laughs) (laughs) So I got to trust my wife to bring my plate home. Don't feel bad. I got my wife bringing a plate home, too. And she better do it right. My baby going to hold me down. I love you, boo. I'm about 12 of these waters in. Yeah, I see. 12 of these waters in. Waters. uh, Not to be named waters because you got to pay to play over here, baby. Joel B. Joe M B. Wait, before we get to Joe M B, let's 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 finish our okay, summary. Okay. So I we finished Denver. The no, no, the I'm moving on from that. Oh. Denver has taken has had made it a series, has tied the series Denver up in has. two games. As they yeah. should have seen that yeah. they were the number two seed, pretty I much know. the number one seed the entire season. Although exactly. I was I was they impressed. Were. I was impressed with their victory in San Antonio yesterday. They 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 had to work for that one and they did. This boy Jokic, like I'm not gonna lie, there are certain Athletes that I try, even though I like them and they produce, it is hard for me to give them credit because they tend to lack a certain amount of athleticism. Yes, he is definitely. But this boy Jokic, <laughs> boy he get is buckets, the truth, man. He At get twenty buckets. something though, like he's a boy, and he's still out here putting up triple doubles on a consistent basis with a team that technically doesn't shoot that well. Well, that's because he's in a league where he can do that. But I'm saying, put him with Golden State. Put him in Andrew Bogut's spot. And this man won't have 29 points, but he'll have 18 assists every day. Well, DeMarcus Cousins said he ain't diddly poo. And, and DeMarcus Cousins is taking the diddly poo right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. As opposed to playing. He can't stay healthy. You know? You, you know. another one-year contract. But no. Nah, I love you. But. Yeah, but no, Jokic is, uh, Jokic is real interesting game. Uh, Very. I mean, it's like it's that old school game. For it's real. old man it's, game. It's old school game. He it's played his... with his back to the basket, <laughs> and he can step out and shoot. He can bang with you. He can rebound. Bro, he can pass, pass the ball. Like or bro. Venus Sabonis out here, bro. Yeah, bro. When, when I was at U of H, and this is a just whatever. But when I was at U of H, and <laughs> that's why I like Jokic. Because there was this group of professors that used to come hoop every day at lunch. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> and they used to bust ass at the U of H Center. They were just athletic, I mean, mentally. Bro, they had, they had this one white dude. I don't know what he taught, but it looked like it had to be philosophy or something because he even had long hair. But he, he was at back to the basket. Sunshine. And the assist this dude would give, the dimes he would dish <laughs> were amazing. And, like, I, I have a lot of res- – I mean, Jokic's game is um, – I mean, you have to appreciate it because it makes – I mean, no it, it just what. makes dudes who play below the rim. Uh, there's hope for you. No, man. Dudes who play below the rim. Below the rim. Even if you're 6'10", you can play below the rim. Does I mean, it, is, is this game considered below the rim? He does. He can't jump. It's a below <laughs> the rim game. It jump. is. It's a below the rim game. He's six Man. I know. <laughs> By definition, you below the rim. Arvidas Sabonis was seven one, and he played below the rim. Below the rim. That, well, that was an old Arvidas Sabonis. Did I, we see the Pistons? Did anyone see Milwaukee versus Detroit? You know what's funny? Who would want to watch? I tried, but yeah. my source of uh, of games of games like wouldn't that. wouldn't allow me to. <laughs> well, I watched it right as much as I could. Mm-hmm. When I tell you. They have maxed out Reggie Jackson, right? It's not a true max, but they've maxed him out. But he's only in the league like five or six years. You know what I'm saying? So he's not making like 30 a year. But he's making 18, 15, something like that. Blake Griffin is the point guard. 
Blake Griffin will bring the ball up. Does he really? Blake Griffin runs the play. If Blake Griffin has his three-pointer, he shoots it. If Blake Griffin has his drive, he drops. If not, that's when the ball gets swung to Reggie Jackson or to uh, Andre Drummond or whomever it is. I was going to say, can you name two other players? Uh, I can name one other player. I'm impressed. Kyle Singler. Oh, oh excuse me, Luke Kennard. Uh, look, Kennard. Wrong you know, you got the right blue right devil, right? You know, oh, got the right. So, they're so quite interchangeable. So hard. They're quite interchangeable. Because they look alike, right? Look, I was impressed with they the fact you threw Singler out there, man. But Luke Kennard, I mean, their game I looks alike, right? Luke Kennard is a uh, is darn near starter. Are you saying all He's of darn near starter? Are you saying all of them look alike? I'm saying I'm saying all of the Detroit Pistons. That are not look named alike. Andre Drummond and Blake Griffin look alike. Okay, okay. Because I can't tell you who they are. Okay, okay. Except for. So who's on now? I don't even know who's on now. Uh, Coming up. Who's on now is uh, the Raptors and the Magic. Okay. I did get to see some of the, did, did Did y'all talk Celtics Pacers? We yeah, we just mentioned that. The I Celtics, mean, really, there's no reason they, yeah, to. They, but they, they're the first to advance to the second round. Yeah, yeah. I mean... There was a little, I mean, they tried to put a little drama tried. in it. But when it's they 3-0, tried. I mean, what does it <laughs> There's only so much the drama. The crazy part but is they, they didn't be the leading scorer. Like, they didn't even, they didn't need a special game from Kyrie. They didn't really need a special game from Hayward. Like you said, Indiana's not supposed to be this far. So, the fact that they, they got were. here, you got to take your hat Valiant off to those guys. Bellas. You got to take your hat off to those guys. Got to take your hat off to those. Score is twelve to thirteen. Yeah, thirteen, twelve, eight, magic. Six minutes left in the first quarter, and that's three oh two, right? Now Toronto's, Toronto's up two one. Two one. They mm-hmm. lost last game. Yeah. Oh, that's right. They lost the first oh, game of the season. I mean, uh-huh. first that, was, that, that was one of those big upsets that first night of the yeah, playoffs. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. do remember that. I do remember that. Uh huh. And then we got uh, the the Trailblazers and, uh, as my brother-in-law said, the Thunders. <laughs> <laughs> that is going to be interesting. They do not like each other. That's I don't, what I don't, keep I don't, saying. I don't even think it's that they don't like each other. I think that nobody likes Westbrook, folks. Westbrook plays angry. No, And I like the fact that he plays angry. Westbrook. No, so when, he, when he's tested, he plays angry. Why do you like that? Westbrook plays broke. He he turns no, when he stop. plays that okay. man. The man That's would not turn the, take the ball I over you ten times. The <laughs> man would airball <laughs> three to give pointers the overblown left take. and right. I uh, like yeah, I like the fact though. that he plays angry because he doesn't run from any challenge. What I don't now, like. Does that mean he's effective? Effective uh, and okay. efficient? Absolutely uh, not. Right. But truth be told. He ain't never been effective. There was a play last efficient. game. There was a play last game with the man threw Remember, the ball. Remember, that's what ran Durant off and turned the ball over basically. Well, somebody on his team dove into the stands to save the ball back in. It happened to go to his correct team, to Oklahoma. They swung it around. Russell Westbrook got the ball again, hit a three-pointer, and directly started talking mess to Damian Lillard. <laughs> like, he didn't just turn the ball over 30 seconds before that. I can't stand that. Hey, I just same say. way James Harden didn't know he was over 15. Yeah. Russell Westbrook didn't know he turned over the ball. You got to hey. have a short memory. <laughs> He told the report. Oh wow, that short. I don't like that short because he's just gonna turn it. Like I don't a, think like a corner. I think this whole thing is overblown anyway, though. Yeah, Why Gamal was talking about that last night. I, I like Dame has been owning this dude for the whole series. Dame has been owning a bunch of dudes this whole but career. I'm just saying, but this series, he's owned him like very badly, and this dude has one good game, and all of a sudden there's a rivalry. Like no, it's that's because they right both right. play the same position. Remember, they tried it last and year too. And he's technically better than that. Is he? There's people that say yes. this man is numbers the best, wise. He is yeah, the best. Oh, why? Because he has more assists. Well, numbers wise, he is. They say Looking he's the best man. And player. Better player. Dame is a better by player. Far, Dame is by far more clutch. That, okay, I, I think that's, that's one aspect of the game. That's he fine. shoots better than Russell Westbrook. Yes. Everything else is either equal or Westbrook has the advantage. Bro, Such as what? Rebounds. Such as dribbling ability, such as rebounds, such as defense, such as uh, post play, such Man. as efficiency, we went such as whatever you want to do. Yeah, dribbling ability for <laughs> yeah, this boy two NBA point guards. This boy, this guard. boy went to live nine five on from that number one, one point guard to number thirty two point guard in the NBA. How big? <laughs> 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 
hold on, hold on, DRC, DRC. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. From, from, from the number one point guard in the league to the number 32 point guard in the league, how big a difference is the dribbling ability? Let me say it dribble is a, ability. It is a measurable Patty difference. Mills probably got well, the best dribble out of all of them. It is a large difference. I was able to say measurable Do you know of an NBA point guard who just dribbled the ball off his heel? Like, <laughs> I know of an NBA point guard who is not that... It's who negligible. Does not have the same What's, amount of confidence or abilities to make moves when dribbling the ball. For yeah. Westbrook's Name, well, 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 first off, I love Damian Lillard. I think Rubio, Damian Lillard. No, I'm saying, what is Westbrook's, Rubio, Patrick what, Patrick what's Westbrook's <laughs> dribble ability number? Yeah, if we if we were naming <laughs> on two K from around. one to ninety nine. <laughs> well, no, you got to start at fifty, right? You gotta so what's Dave's dribble ability? Dave's dribble ability would be at about an eighty. So they both the same. I said they was either equal or he was the better. I didn't say he was better at dribbling. He's by, his defense would be at a ninety, and Dame's defense would be at a seventy-eight. Oh. <laughs> As his defense ability. Defense ability. Shooting. <laughs> Dame awareness. would be at a ninety. Uh, West Westbrook would be at an eighty-two. Oh awareness. no, Westbrook is lower than that. Where, where's West Westbrook is not lower than that if you stop mid 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 range jumpers. The man shoots mid range jumpers effectively. Extremely effective. Very effective. But who cares about that? Because that's a poor shot to shoot. So what is his turnover rating? Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> now, Dame is known to turn the ball over himself. Uh-huh. But Russell Westbrook will probably lead the league in turnover rating. Uh, I'd put him at a 98 ooh. or a 2, <laughs> depending on how you judge the range. That man's a turnover machine. Oh, my goodness. Well, I agree with Gamal that I think they're trying to find uh, a um, a story here. Yeah, there's no LeBron plan. What else they going to do? So they got to go with Talk the – about hard. They got to go with the Dame and uh, Russell Westbrook hate each other somehow. Man, I mean, it is somewhat entertaining. You do see they're going at each other, though. They are. are they, they not? Are. I mean, but that's they basketball. Are. You do that on one on one. And right. you're in the they, same position. And you they both Cali boys. Go. So, yeah, you know, they, they you know. Mm. They, and it's some real street Some of them Hollywood. Yeah, it's some real street it's, it's, basketball. It's but, but they have a lot of similar. Both of them wanted to stay. Both of them chose to stay in the small market that they They did, yeah. Both of them feel as if. They did not get the respect coming out that they deserve. Mm -hmm. uh, Russell Westbrook has kept Damon Litter from way more uh, All Star teams than he should. Than he, he he deserved to be on way more All Star teams than he's Russell been on. Russell Westbrook literally said he felt Paul George should have been on the All Star team, and they said. Who should he have replaced? And he literally said Dame Lillard. <laughs> That's why. He didn't just like say anybody. He just literally said Dame Lillard. Pull well, that man name out there. That's head. why they going at each other. Maybe because exactly. Dame Lillard can rap. This is Dame true. <laughs> <laughs> and Hulu has sports and they pay him for it. <laughs> and if you don't know, just watch TV for five minutes and you will see that commercial three times. <laughs> I know, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Got to cancel mine. <laughs> <laughs> you are listening to the Garage Apartment. We are here each and every Sunday night from six to seven Central Standard Time. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website, thegarageapt.com. So now. I told you we had a great article about rugby on there from the Black Michael Wilbon. Right, Since right. the Black Michael Wilbon is in here, have you seen your namesake? Did you mm. see his comments? Oh my goodness. On James Harden. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey. He wasn't even the problem. It was that boy Tony. And, and Tony I'm, Kornheiser. I'm a fan of Tony. I used to listen to Tony Kornheiser's radio show. I'm a fan of Tony Kornheiser, bro. But if he didn't sound old and ornery, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. Get off my lawn. Oh, all man. I can think of through the whole clip. Oh bro. man! I, now that I'm thinking about it, I mean, let me see if I can pull it up for y'all. For those man, that but... don't know, he was they they were asked about James Harden when he broke right, uh, Ricky Rubio, kind of oh, pushed him off his well, off. and he shimmied yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And it smoked the three pointer. You I know mean, what I'm saying? Hey, because he even... shimmied, he he said that James Harden was mean, was not a good player to play with. Several different things like this, and conveniently left out the fact that he that missed the three pointer. Steph Curry shimmies literally every time, every he, hits time the three. he takes a shot. He, he really I does. Saw him, I saw him do a finger roll today and, and, and mess with the man about and, finger rolling it over bro, his head. Steph Curry would take the shot and turn around and shimmy before the shot has even hit the rim. 
But who was but that who mentioned the Steph's acceptable arrogance? acceptable one, so there's no mention for him. But wasn't that you who mentioned Steph's arrogance a few weeks back? Oh, it was. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it was. Yeah. And I also made the statement that he was acceptable then. Yeah, uh-huh, he is. It'll hit you in the morning, people. I'm going to have... <laughs> I'm going to have to look at that. So, this was when? This was... It's all over Twitter. This was on Friday. When was the game? Today is Sunday. The game was, was on Friday. Friday. Championship fight. Here we go. There you the go. champ doesn't lose on words, and he doesn't lose on a split decision. Now, that's not that's how right. it works. You have to beat him decisively. And what we have seen in the past, and this is why I'm skeptical. Uh, I'm fine with Dan Tony claiming this. I'm totally fine with that. But why I'm skeptical is because we usually see James Harden down on all fours, and we usually see oh, Chris Paul on the side in a suit because his hammy is out. This has been the Patriot. history of this oh, team. Horse. What is he talking Not about? Not necessarily Whoa. even against Golden State, but maybe Pause. against Golden yeah. State. Yeah. So uh, I think we're both Pause in the, in the same way. position that you just can't say it. you got to go do right. it. Now, here we go. No, there's no awarding of extra credit. This is not grade school. you got to go out and you got to yeah. beat the yeah. people, the, the dragon that has tormented you. That's what the Houston Rockets have to do. Do they have the goods? No. Yes. Here we go. They for the switch subjects. they will win that series? <laughs> No, it doesn't. Not necessarily. No. No, Tony, we're going to find out, as you said, starting in about, you know, 10 days or so. If you were watching last night, you couldn't have missed this little back and forth between James Harden and Ricky Rubio. You might back think the Spaniard would have better tight moves. But look at Harden cross over Rubio, <laughs> wait on him, and then give him a little shimmy. Yeah. Yeah. Tony, yeah, is this a good look or a bad look for the reigning noob, noob. MVP, James Harden? Is it a good look? No, it is not a good look. It reveals James Harden to be exactly who you think he is. A mean person out a there. Mean a mean person. A person never heard out it. there. Bing. A someone never heard extolling it. his own What a girl, Tony Corrado. I have heard somebody that. somebody else in embarrassment. It makes you want to punch James Harden in the teeth. I did. I bet you he won't punch him. <laughs> yes, he is a great player. But he has done this sort of thing for a while, when? It, you know, in the NFL, up, uh, this is taunting. From the Clippers. You're standing over shimmy. someone, that was Steph Curry that laughing did that. at them. Mm -hmm. This is a flag in that sport. Clay Thompson laughs at people. Yeah, Joel Embiid laughed at him on the podium. Baseball would get you get your head after the elbow. Your head. I don't care about that. This is this sport, um, where half the guys in the NFL are jealous they're not in this sport making that much money and having that kind of freedom and leverage. So I don't care what they do in other sports. But I will say this: it, it, it makes Harden to me, Tony, I wonder about this because I'm not decided. I'm still making up my mind, even though Harden's like, you know, nine years into the league now. It makes him seem like a front runner. Oh, and that's stop. my makes problem. No sense. With oh, Houston going forward. Non black me. It. Necessary to take down the king. <laughs> so, stop it. The only thing that was said true it's a front on that entire number four seed. was are you going to do what's necessary to take down the king? That's the only thing on that 15 minute clip it felt like <laughs> yeah. that was even much true. So, Mart, what you got, man? Uh, <laughs> that whole thing is complete garbage, man. Garbage. And I'm not saying it just because, just for being a homer for James Harden. Um, dude, that happens all the time. What is he talking about? Taunting and, oh, and, and a mean person. <laughs> He's never a bully heard all of a sudden. Anybody call him mean before? Ricky, and 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 he he really isn't. He really doesn't say much is about this anything. Not, first off, is this not competition? Yes. Who yes. Cares? Exactly. Is there not, not is mean. there not some form of 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 gamesmanship there with is. being competitive? And the NBA is complete one hundred percent entertainment. And is all what it is. For it. Is and not, the NBA is all. For it. Is All not for it. is not psychological warfare a part of being competitive, being able to get into your opponent's head, mm -hmm. get them to not perform to the best of their ability because you are not only sunning them, but now you are getting into their ability to do what they're supposed to be doing because now they're angry with you. Is that not all a part of competition? It is, and DRC just mentioned it when he um, uh, uh, basically. That whole thing where he comes and he talks about, uh, you know, it's, you know, the NFL, which is the NFL. Yeah. People call it no fun league exactly. in the first place. When the, the RC said the NBA is all for it. And yes, they are.
Absolutely. Because this, I mean, what we just talked about with Westbrook and uh, Damian Lillard, this is what they want. And it's a beautiful thing to watch. And I mean, really and truly, when you watch, last night we were watching the Jazz play. <laughs> One of those last buckets that James Harden had. Uh, Ricky Rubio deserves to be shimmied on. <laughs> How are you playing defense from behind somebody? Exactly. You're supposed to be making them go right, but you're playing behind them. Exactly. And, but, 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 okay. When they say make him go right, that doesn't mean let him go right all the way to the basket. I don't understand what the Jazz are doing. You're playing on his left, and you're giving him the lane. Yeah, Gilbert Arenas is 100% right. And then they uh, – hey, what are they not, doing? He's not even giving him the left. He's just – he's giving him He's just giving him – You have the whole lane. Well, yes. I guess he said, well, when I stood in front of him, he shimmied me. Man, so look here. that Bro, way, if I man, stand to the left of him, <laughs> he was abusing. But hold look on, here. hold on. I not... never developed a left-handed dribble. That's a bad me either. Move. But that's why I didn't play basketball. That's but bad basketball. But <laughs> if you gave me the left hand, I can go there and, <laughs> and at least two hand. dribbles and lay it up, right? I can, I can dribble the two <laughs> dribbles and lay it up. <laughs> two dribbles and lay it yeah. up. Exactly. But hold on, let's not lose the point. Now, so once again, I am a James Harden fan. Okay, but as objective as I can be. The platform that these two guys have, okay, to just basically come out there, where is he getting that from? Where has he been, where is he saying that he has been a mean person, that he has been a, a, a front runner from the other side? Like, where are these stats, the information to front that on? Man, that's Because just, he loses quite often. That, so. That's just them trying to make uh, your boy. MVP. There's so much heart and hatred. Yeah. And I don't understand why. And if you've been me, watching the them this ugly, season, bro, if you've been bro. watching them this season, they have had a lot of hate uh, towards And it's not just him. Did, 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 did y'all see the viral clip when the uh, the announcer for the um, Clippers? Yes. How he was talking about his bad Oh, the my game. God. Yeah, that was that crazy. That was vitriol. When they that was hatred. Team your squad was down hard. 30. Yes. Right. The reason your Clippers are who they are is because... <laughs> You think Montrez Harrell would be this cold if he didn't play with us? Mm hmm. With, his, with the Rockets? And Lou, yeah. yeah and he Lou, Lou, Lou Williams. Lou Williams, he would have been cold. He might not have been this cold. He would have been cold, though. No, it's Patrick cold. Beverly. Patrick so Beverly. Been in the exactly. league. Y'all gave him big money to come to your what? squad. What? What? That's crazy. Because he played with us. Did he still didn't make shots with them? If you don't like the man's game, I can understand. The Warriors have an aesthetically pleasing form of basketball when played the way that they normally play the game. Hey, I, I would understand hate, that. I would hate but, the man if my team is losing by 30. It is exactly. and it isn't. I mean, you, can't, yeah. you just got to respect the what's some call it, but it needs to move on. So Don't hate the player. Hate the game. Hey, <laughs> man, hate the game, bro. Yeah. And give that man his MVP. Dude, the James Harden hate You know what? I think we all are going to be disappointed because I don't believe they're going to give him MVP. Hey, 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 hey but you I know how everybody in the media – uh, particularly, uh, I'm talking in the mainstream political media where they have this thing, Trump derangement syndrome. Yes, There's some crazy. definite hardened derangement syndrome. They, they don't and see some of these people have at. irrational hatred of James Harden. It doesn't make any sense. You can't <laughs> argue with results. Can't argue. 30 points everywhere to man. People I think they're just mad because they've never seen one person truly care. Even but Jordan, and I kid you not, he even did. Jordan didn't carry the Bulls the way James he Harden no, he did. is carrying no, the Rockets. No, he did. Jordan just wouldn't do it from the first quarter throughout the whole game. Jordan would wait till the third quarter and would score 20 points every time between the third quarter and the fourth quarter and put the game away. Yes, yeah, but every time. Yeah. yeah, see, but Jordan's points were like, you, you watch soccer, so you know when they say that, that goal was against the run of play? Yeah. Like James Harden, his whole thing is on the back foot against the run of play. It just doesn't look right. It doesn't, like, right. It just look, it doesn't look like it that's fits the in the problem. game. Exactly. It's like, what is he doing? Oh, he made it. <laughs> it's just, it's just, no. Oh, good shot. It just doesn't make Why would you sense. shoot? Hey, good job. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it defies good basketball. But if Steph but, Curry was on a team where he was having to do all of the work himself, he couldn't do that. It would look the same, bro. It, but he, he couldn't, could, do like this. I said, he, he couldn't, couldn't, he couldn't, couldn't do, do that either. He but couldn't. It would look the same for the sheer fact that he. He would have to take those bad shots. But they're not bad shots if you can hit the bad shots. Mm -hmm. That's what people don't understand. Just because if I shoot that shot, it's a bad shot, that doesn't mean that's a bad shot for Steph Curry. Right. That doesn't mean that's a bad shot for James Hart. If he shoots that shot and hits that shot 50% of the time, that's not a bad shot. Yeah, man. It, it, 
It can get ugly sometimes watching. It gets very ugly <laughs> watching him sometimes. It's 18 dribbles, dribble, dribble. Last dribble, night dribble, it was a little frustrating dribble, when he dribble, went dribble, 0 for 15 and he horrendous. was 0 for 8 behind the three point line. It was like, all right, do something now, bro. Do Please. something. Yes. But anyway, can't deny. Switching gears. Last okay. night we had a very good, well, I don't know about very good. I mean, it was pretty. Well, no, we had a pretty decent card. I mean, we got to yeah, see some people. Good had a good fight last night. Tio well, Fimo like you said, the card was pretty good. The mm-hmm. card was pretty yeah, good. Yeah, Tio Stevenson, yeah. Tio Fimo showed some And thank things, you man. to everybody. Hopefully some of y'all are listening who tuned in to our uh, Me and Gamal's little fight cast that we did on Facebook Live. Absolutely, hey. man. You know, we, we, yeah, try to so put the, we try to put the pretty faces out front. Hey, <laughs> hey. Not with some of the hatred <laughs> they were giving us. I mean, that but, was at the end. That was with them haters at the end. Yeah, like, I appreciate the hatred, though. Mr. Gang. Yeah. Keep bringing it. But, yeah, man, we, we was worldwide. Y'all getting hate? We, a whole man, lot. People... Hey. What y'all was saying? We got called I ain't gorillas. Said nothing. Yeah, we ain't said <laughs> y'all got called what? Gorillas. Oh wow! <laughs> see now, nah, you better than me, cause see that'd have been a whole other case. That's what happens buddy. when you open yourself up. Buddy. But you should have seen how. No, no, no. But you should have seen how unfortunate looking the young lady who called us gorillas look. <laughs> 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 what you say? We you ain't too white too either, <laughs> baby. Don't worry about it. They go low, we go. High. I was like, man, I feel bad for you. My sister in law say when they go low, we go to the flow. Shout out to Shout you. out to Yolanda. Yeah. No, as yeah. long as you're listening. Sound like your sister would say the same thing. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> just, just 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 click. Okay? And view and like. Or, or thumbs down. I don't care. Give me some feedback. I'll be the heel. I told him we welcome it all, baby. Here at the garage apartment, we hold no punches. Wait till we start taking phone calls. <laughs> C- call in and hate on me all you want. I hate have no problem me, with it. Hate I bask in the hatred. Absolutely. And I promise you, we gonna feel, you going to feel our position. Because one thing we're going to do is defend it. Defend it. <laughs> to the, and, 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 and the one thing about all these gentlemen, sometimes we say stuff that may sound crazy, but don't we don't just pop off at the mouth. No. <laughs> We'll have some reason. Trust me, it's going to... It might not be the best reason. But we got a reason. But it's going to be a reason. The factual <laughs> basis behind it. But yeah, but old glass balls. It's man. Glass, glass balls, glass, glass jaw, glass, glass balls. Oh, hey. my goodness. For those of you who don't know... Amir um, That boy there. Is it Terrence Crawford? Yeah. Terrence, Terrence Bud, Bud Crawford. Bud Crawford. Bud. Out of, out of Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha. That boy has... Uh, had Buffett a pretty... Had a pretty... I mean, I say this, it seems like about every fight lately. A dominant performance yeah. of hey. a mere glass jaw, glass balls con. Hey. I'm pretty sure that's if not you his saw, given hey. nickname. If you saw that first knockdown. What you say, that's not his given that's name? That's the one that he brought in with him. Sugar Ray said he to get hit man. Exactly. <laughs> that's exactly who he was. If you saw the first knockdown, that boy did the... I did see the first did knockdown. Did the James Brown splits? Yeah. I was like, uh, he made him turn around and do the James Brown? So now... Man. And his footwork was not becoming of a yeah, championship Yeah, it was Jermaine boxer. Taylor. That was like, crazy. You know... And it, even Jermaine Taylor had better footwork than that. Because Jermaine Taylor at least had a jab that would back you yeah. up. Yeah, like, but back Jermaine up. Taylor's footwork got his ass whooped a few I mean, times. but yeah, not to be messy though, but like... The, the whole opening package. Now, first off, ESPN Plus, ESPN Pay Per View, you suck <laughs> completely. <laughs> I mean, why am I paying for a fight and I'm watching commercials? I don't get I it. Agree with that. There was 100%. Geico commercials during the fight. <laughs> I agree. I agree. There was even joint commercials. It was Geico and the Avengers. Right. 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 <laughs> what are you doing? You got two commercials in one for me. The Geico thing, the Geico gecko going to watch the Avengers. What are you doing to me? Oh, anyway, so yeah, ESPN, get it together. And then the packages they had in between. But one of the packages was the whole thing about when Amir Khan's wife oh, and got with Anthony Joshua. Are they back together or, or, or oh, what? No, like, what is the deal with that? That whole thing was crazy to me. Anyway, getting to Amir. Yeah, it was insane. Wait, uh, what? Yes. <laughs> So Amir Khan, There's some twi- some Amir Khan, and, uh, uh, yeah, some bird dropped a sex tape on Amir Khan, oh, and man. Amir's wife, what was her name? Something Makhdoom. Yeah, Makhdoom. Something Makhdoom. It, yeah. Hey, he should have so, known. Anything, which anybody with doom? Doom in the last yeah. name. Yeah. <laughs> now I'll give you one. Like Amir Khan's wife looks like a. Disney princess. I mean, she's got huge eyes. She's pretty, but it's like. What's going on there? 
Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> she's a beautiful lady, <laughs> but she looks here. like she, she looks like somebody drew her. It's it's amazing. She don't look like Jessica Rabbit. No, no, not like Je- far but, from that. No, 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 not like <laughs> Jessica Rabbit. She's she a very like, pretty girl. She looked like uh, Princess Jasmine type. Yeah, Princess but it's Jasmine. amazing because she's she got like cloths and all of that. Not no, really, but she she's wearing... got these big old eyes that are like like. I mean, maybe it's because they're used to being behind. Dude, hoods. she's something to look at, but not like in a you know. I, I don't know. She's anyway. a beautiful girl, but Let's whatever. Move on before we get in <laughs> yeah. any more trouble. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so so yeah, so something happened, and then like they're not together. They separated, and then like turns around, she's with Anthony Joshua, wow. like within days. That's a big man. Yeah, yeah I know. That's that's pretty rough. What I'm saying is, I don't difference. think Glass Jaw wants any of that smoke. Yeah. <laughs> but then like. I don't know. We were... He sure didn't want Crawford. Yeah, I was yeah, saying, if he, he can't handle Crawford, he sure don't want Joshua. But I didn't see what happened at the end, because at the end, they you were on the couch Deontay. together during the interview. Who, a con and his wife? Yeah, so I don't know if they got back together or what in the world. That, that whole thing was weird. So first off, I'm looking at con crazy right there. You should. <laughs> okay, because that whole thing was weird. Then, the actual fight. Now, okay, this, this is another thing with the ESPN boxing matches now and i know it's a very small thing but they have this thing for some reason where the fighters don't walk to the ring with their entourage they walk by themselves for espn plus that's what happened last night every fighter like their entourage was with them at the uh, door and then the fighter walked by himself solo and then amir khan came out to the ramones <laughs> which song uh Finish. Hey ho, oh, let's no, go. No, 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 no. Oh, hey ho, let's go. Yeah, like the most, uh, 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 uh hey. what do you call it? Oh. Let's, let's go. go. Yeah, it came out to the most generic, <laughs> the, the, the Bud Light commercial, Ramon song. And like, Khan just wanted an out because you could see from the beginning of yeah, the fight. Yeah, he was getting whooped. Yeah, just the look, I mean, at the end of the first round, he like shrugged his shoulders like, I, I don't think I it's happening today. Nerve. And then he had the nerve to say after the fight he would never quit. And yeah. I just felt pain like, Which he get did. out of here, man. Because initially, the shot looked like it went right under. You know, right where Crawford the... said it wasn't a low blow. It was, a low it was blow. definitely a low it looked, blow. From what I saw, it was a low blow. I mean, now, it was a weird low blow because he was coming up trying to do an uppercut to the body. Khan kind of went up on his tiptoes. But... When you see where he hit him, he kind of hit him right in between where the thigh and the crotch meet up at the top. It was a low blow, but he didn't get him right on the berries. So he right milked that. Berries. Yeah. <laughs> My twigs and berries. Yeah, he milked that, though. <laughs> and he completely milked it. And I was like, okay, well, he's going to take his full five minutes. I, I, I would have done the same thing. That's gamesmanship, and that's just getting your head back together. I've seen fighters get fake low blows yeah. and take their five minutes. Fall all the way to the floor. And- yes. <laughs> but then when Khan did the I'm done signal, and then they said it was, uh, what's his trainer? Virgil. Virgil, Virgil Hill. Hill. Hunter. Virgil, Virgil Hunter. Yeah. Not Virgil, Virgil Hill. Hill. I hope it's not. <laughs> not Virgil Hill. <laughs> but Virgil Hunter. And, I mean, I was like, I felt completely cheated at that point. Well. It was a cop out. I don't understand why you would feel cheated. That means you went into that thing with an expectation that Khan was going to be competitive. No, 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 no. And, and Never I was that. ready to say. Never that. Rarely. I'm usually slow to say that anybody is done because, you know, you, you know, everybody has that moment in their life where things just are not going well. You know, they hit that little rut in their life. And as, as you can see last week, you know, we saw a bunch of clips and, and revisits of when everybody was saying Tiger Woods was done. So rarely would I ever be that person that say that somebody's career or that they're done. Amir Khan is done. Yeah, but boxing ain't that comeback sport either. Amir Khan. Once you start getting off, knocked out, you ain't coming back. Amir Khan came over here across seas mm-hmm. under the false hope because he was fighting nobodies over there in England. He developed a name for fighting nobodies in England because he felt like he could fight a little bit because he had some hand speed. He turned down $8 million. He had some hand speed, and he was over there beating up on nobodies. And then the moment he came across the pond and he fought and he stepped up in in, in competition and fought champions, I have seen him get knocked out in every fight. Literally every fight. He has a glass jaw, and like we have just learned, he has... 
Well, I mean, a glass twinkling t- berries. Hey, <laughs> my, 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 no cojunas. My, my no huevos. berries would be glass taking punches from a professional man too, though. What? I ain't, I'm about. I ain't about it to be like. Everybody. I imagine if you were to, to, to if you were to truly train in a training camp, dude. He's got on a cup and pads. Have you ever seen what they what, what boxers Thank wear you. under you their shorts? You have a cup on. <laughs> Not even just a cup. You have a padded. You have padded drawers on. Yeah, the man, the man <laughs> like, my balls, look, like you said in the first round, the punch. It was like, oh, that's what type of night this is going to be. I know. I mean, when yeah, he went down the good. first round, I was so disappointed. And like I said, it's not even as if that first round, man. And not I mean, even as if he was <laughs> he was picking his part. He was ready. He was about to ready to drop him in the sixth round, seventh round. He was. It was. It was looking there. Khan was taking them, them uppercuts, them body shots, them bodies. That's why the punch was so low. Yeah. Those body shots was just eating uh, him He up. was whooping them, man. He was whooping them, and. He was beating them very Like you said, he looked for an out. He was given one, and he mm-hmm. took it, and he didn't even care that it was going to cause him to lose. And the crazy part was because in all of his pre-fight interviews, uh, he was saying how this is going to be, this is a, a very important fight in his career. If he, you know, he, he must have this win. He must have he this fight. If he Laid it, uh, quit then, he would lose. Yeah, oh, he, he knew definitely he, would, knew. he knew he wasn't winning on yeah. them cards. Because it was after the sixth round, and he it wasn't intentional. He knew he wasn't winning on them cards. It wasn't intentional, so he knew doggone well. And they gave him one round, which they really literally gave it to him. I think it was the fourth <laughs> round. That was the nut round. They literally <laughs> gave No, the fourth round, they literally gave it to him. Um, so, you know, it was 5-1. So, yeah, he knew fully well what round it was, and he knew that it wasn't going to be a no contest. They were going to go to the cards because it wasn't an intentional low blow. Like the Andrew Galata, when I'm really trying to hit you right there, that's a different <laughs> thing when somebody gets disqualified. But that wasn't what this was. So, yeah, he, he knew he was going to lose. But you can lose with an asterisk and say, well, he hit me low. <laughs> I would have been able to finish. He hit me in the groin. He is a dirty fighter. Yeah, all right. And that then people were calling with, Bud dirty. That boy yeah, Ernest right. McGowan ass is con one of those that used to do back flips. No, that's that's Hasim Hamid. Oh, you talking about Prince Nassim Hamid? Nassim Hamid. No, 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 no. Prince Nassim Hamid. Look, the most Amir entertaining Khan, fighter. Amir, Amir Khan was, right. was probably he was influenced. Gone. He was probably influenced by Prince Hasim Hamid. And no, 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 no. I don't know who was influenced by Nassim Hamid. Remember Yuzi, Kuzi, Guzi? Remember yeah, Kaskazu. Kaskazu is the one that said, oh, this dude really, yeah, you can't fight with your hands down, can you? <laughs> <laughs> like, when he fought on Halloween, does everybody remember that entrance? Oh, yeah, when he was punching the When, the, when the he was punching the skeletons stuff. and he came down with Thriller? <laughs> that's got to be the greatest entrance in the history of boxing. I remember watching that with my that's dad. Oh, and he man. was like, what the hell is this? I was like, this is Prince Nassim Ahmed. 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 And then yeah, Koska Zoo was like, nah, this ain't it. But oh, <laughs> Prince Nassim, yeah, but, but I, I'm and not going to put him in the category with Prince Nassim. Uh, because Khan... I mean, Khan literally. Khan would be fine if he could avoid getting hit. <laughs> well, that, that's, you're in the wrong no, point. it's not even that. Because, I mean, yes, a lot of fighters, uh, fighters would be fine if they could avoid being hit. <laughs> no, other fighters The real can take problem a punch. is when he does get hit, that's he, what I'm falls. Saying, he falls. <laughs> so he can't take a hit. It, it's my he point. He can't take a punch at all. Yeah, but uh, yeah, thanks to everybody who uh, tuned into that. Yeah, man, um, that was awesome. We got to figure out what the next big fight is. Cinco de Mayo, maybe. Yeah, well, it's, it's going to be Canelo fighting somebody Cinco de Mayo. That's his weekend, isn't it? It's his weekend. It used to be Floyd. Josh yeah, he took like it over from Floyd. Of the whole oh, Floyd. Let's keep drug testing. Wait, we'll thing. get to Floyd in a second. Oh, we'll Jesus. get to Floyd in a second. But before we That's go to Floyd. Yeah, we got many seconds. So, we need to speed up. so, the win, Bud Crawford's win is more than likely going to set up a super fight between he and Earl Spence yeah. Jr. Errol. Uh, uh, but your boy say uh, Don't call the, me other, the other promoter to... We got to protest that dude. What? Man. Yeah, Bob Arum. Bob, Bob Arum went like, off last night. That boy was really? like, we got to uh, we not watch any of... What Top he, rank? Nah, no, he said don't guy. watch any Al Heyman events Al, yeah. until he makes this fight. He went in on Al Heyman. Who, who 
wait, 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 wait. Bob, wait, wait. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, Bob like, Aaron said for dude, people you, not to watch any you, Al Heyman you didn't events see the Bob until, Aaron interview? Come until on. he makes the witch fight. The Come Earl on. Spence. Yeah, uh, Earl Spence, uh, Terrence Crawford. Anybody, he said anybody for top rank. Mm -hmm. If he, he has to just book somebody. Yeah, he says Al Heyman refuses to let any of his fighters lose the top rank fighter. Because, wait, stop. Because first dude. off. I don't. If you look at the list of Al Heyman's fights, uh, fighters, because he has a very impressive he list does. of fighters, they not gonna lose to any top bro, rank fighters. Bro, 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 Bob Aaron went off like he said, boycott all. Yeah. First off, Heyman's. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> First off, they asked him, "What did they?" They asked him, "So, what do you think about?" Uh, Okay, Bob Aaron was like 90, right? Yeah. So first, they, what they asked him, they said, what did you think of, of the fight? Yeah, and he's like, huh? What fight? <laughs> he's like, oh, this one. <laughs> yeah, Bob. <laughs> no, the one from six, yeah. seven years ago. Yeah. And then they asked him, um, what do you think about, you know, who should uh, Crawford's next opponent be? And he's like, huh? Uh, 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 oh, yeah. Then he's, then I, it, it clicked. It came back. And he went off on Al Hammond. Yeah. Al Heyman is a... Did he call him a liar? Yeah, he was like Tupac. He was <laughs> yeah. like, F yo, in the clip you play. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like, F, uh, F Bob uh, Heyman as a record label. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't watch him producer all of in the video. Man, he just went in. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, don't and ever watch And if you down with Al Heyman and F you too. Exactly. Like, <laughs> like, like Chino XL, F you too. He's like, oh, Mob Deep? <laughs> you want some yeah, man. Like, Bob Aaron wanted to smoke last night. It, it was crazy. He so. doesn't, though. Yeah, he does. Al Heyman can run him out the gym. Wait, look, and Bob, Bob Aaron 90. has long money because he's been doing this long for a long money. time. And long he has money. been stealing from fighters a uh -huh. long time. Which, Why you think Pacquiao still fighting? Yeah. Anyway. Uh huh. He Which still is, can't get none of yeah. Al Heyman oh, money. Which to me, because a lot of people don't know, but that's the real reason why Al Heyman is that not he messing with, with him. Yeah, him because he's not, he's Al a, Heyman in Florida tight. And Flo Jay Prince had <laughs> gangster Floyd out his Bob Heyman deal. Yeah, like, man. <laughs> I mean, you know, it was crazy. And, and, and De La Hoya. You yeah, know? man, it's just... I mean, the Golden Boy thing and De La Hoya... <laughs> De La Hoya made some, Bob Aaron made De La Hoya an anti-Semite. <laughs> He's like, you know what? Hitler was right, man. And he's like, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> then the pantyhose pictures came out. <laughs> oh, man, he had a whole tank. Oh, yeah, my goodness. Oh, oh, my goodness. So now, we talking about. Al Heyman, one of Al Heyman's former boxers, Mr. Floyd Mayweather Jr. Oh, Jesus in heaven. Uh, a world class troll. Uh, he had a big, big announcement. Uh, I honestly thought it was going to be him saying he was going to fight Earl Spence because his uncle Jeff Mayweather weeks ago was on YouTube saying that the fight had been made. I thought it was going to be made. And I was like, well, your uncle and I already announced this, so what you coming out with? But I also began to believe it because that video came was taken down. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, okay, so they're going to make this a big old thing. Only to find out that he was announcing what, Mr. Mr. Will Bond? <laughs> he, um, he, he's partnering with a fantasy sports betting website. Uh, and not only do they, uh, um, I don't know, it, it's some sort of twist. Anyway, you don't just bet points. You bet, I don't know. It, uh, suffice it to say, the man trolled us. And I made an appeal to Floyd Mayweather before. <laughs> And I say, bro, we want to love you. We really do. But you make it so hard. Hey. <laughs> everybody wants to love you, but you make it impossible. Like, why would you troll everybody like he that? He's an attention. I, we don't, well, I can say this. He's an attention whore. Yeah. It's he insane. Is an attention, he is an attention whore. And you may think it's somehow, yeah, it's brilliant marketing. But it only makes people uh, resent you. Like, I resented him after that. I was looking forward because I thought, I didn't figure there's no way he's fighting Earl Spence. But I figured it was going to be Maypac, too. I don't even want to see that. I don't care. Maybe you don't want to yeah, see it, but I wouldn't mind seeing it. I definitely, you know, 
I don't think it would be wise for him to fight Earl Spence. <laughs> yeah, but see that, and that's why I almost knew better. Why would? Because now, granted, Floyd. I mean, he's still an outstanding fighter, but yeah. I don't think I don't think Floyd now wants it with Earl now. Well, you're setting yourself up for a situation where you could lose. Yeah, he's younger, so there's he's no reason to do that. Well, he's faster, you know. So I knew, and, and he's much more hungry. Yeah, and plus, and he's part. broke. So he, well, he's not broke, but he doesn't have the amount of money that you have. No, he doesn't have the amount of money. To, yeah. So he's determined. Yeah. So I thought it was going to be Maypack too, and I wouldn't have a problem watching that again. All right. So now, fellas, we in the last two minutes. I know we went on our little tangents. Did we miss anything? Yes, we did. We missed a bunch. What we Shout missed? Shout out to Man City. Oh, stop! Shout it. out to uh, Manchester United <laughs> taking that horrible L yeah. today. And I was gonna Shout laugh out at to you. Arsenal Shut up! Taking that L today as well. I was gonna laugh at your brother until that happened. Yeah, <laughs> I was all set to text him like crazy, and then we were down three one, and I'm like, huh? I was just looking at it really quickly, and there was a quote from the Manchester.